Hello everyone, happy Friday. I love you, sending you a very big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. All right, this message is about shedding light on some human behaviors that are going to continue to get louder and louder in order for us to dismantle them or shift the human collective. These are behaviors that we've been noticing for a while and they're just gonna get louder and louder and louder. So first, before I begin this message, there are three truths or notions that you have to hold in order for this message to make sense. If you don't believe these three notions, these three truths, the message isn't gonna make sense to you. One, the earth and humanity is shifting into higher states of consciousness, evolving the human collective, ascending. Two, every behavior you have is a choice. You are choosing every behavior. Three, behaviors are states of consciousness playing out in physicality. Now, if you hold all three of those notions, then you are consciously participating in the evolution of human consciousness. Now, if you're still on board, you are noticing perhaps that there is a massive split occurring. It's becoming very obvious humans that are holding higher states of consciousness and humans that are not holding higher states of consciousness because you yourself may be continuing to hold higher states of consciousness, which means you're looking at you, you're working on you, you're clearing your shadow and your trauma, you're bringing everything back to you. But there are many, many humans that aren't able to do the internal work yet that it requires to move into higher states of consciousness. And so they are perpetuating lower states of consciousness over and over and over again, even though they are aware of the ascension process, even though they are consciously participating in this massive evolution. It's very, it's the only way to move into higher states of consciousness is for you yourself to pull all your attention back to you, focusing on you and doing the internal work that you need to do, looking at your shadow and your trauma. And many humans that are consciously ascending, that are aware of the 3D and 5D, that are even in this spiritual community, many in the spiritual community and in many communities that are awakened, have a hard time going in and really diving deep into their trauma because it's not fun. So here's the part that I wanna talk about, the juiciness. There are behaviors right now that are gonna get louder and louder and louder. And these behaviors are perpetuating lower states of consciousness by humans that are acutely aware of this evolution in consciousness. And so it's confusing if they're spiritual teachers or if they are self-help teachers or if they are dot, 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 they must know. And yet if you watch behaviors the way they are being, it's in a lower state of consciousness. And let me explain that to you. So, and this is just in general, this isn't necessarily like spiritual teachers or self-help teachers. I'm talking about like anyone basically, okay? A higher state of consciousness is feels expans expansive it feels light it feels joyful it feels open it feels loving compassionate empathic um it feels present moment it feels very self-centered meaning sovereign not about other people right uh very calm you can feel higher states of consciousness. Lower states of consciousness feel very external, right? It's tighter, it's restrictive. Um, it's a little bit uh, more agitated or irritable, right? You can feel these lower states of consciousness. It's, it's blaming others, uh, playing in victimhood, et cetera, et cetera. Now we're all moving back and forth between these, but I bring this up to bring awareness to what exactly it feels like when you are experiencing or being in higher states or in lower states and watching another human be in higher states or lower states. So here's what I wanna ask you. If humans consciously participating in this or even unconsciously participating in this human evolution, okay? If they are doing these behaviors and I'm gonna dot, dot, dot the behaviors right now, what consciousness, what state of consciousness are they actually perpetuating? If a human is name calling, what state of consciousness are they perpetuating? If they are bullying, 
What state of consciousness are they perpetuating? If they are calling another human names, what state of consciousness are they perpetuating? If they are trying to bring someone down, what kind of state of consciousness are they perpetuating? If they are trying to make somebody wrong, what state of consciousness are they perpetuating? You see this massive divide that we're experiencing, this split is going to get louder and louder. And if you are participating in the divide and the split, then you are going after your name calling, bullying, trying to belittle, break someone down, arguing. I put up a post the other day and the amount of name calling, belittling and arguing that is happening because another human doesn't hold the same awareness or truth as you is, is perpetuating the divide. It's perpetuating the lower states of consciousness. And we are here as consciously ascending humans to evolve out of those behaviors. And the only way to evolve out of those behaviors is to recognize if you or someone else is being it. And this isn't about a right or wrong. This isn't about a good or bad. This is strictly about experiencing states of consciousness and the intention that you have as a human and the intention that you have as a being of light, being in human form for being here right now. Why are you here in human form? Many of us are here to shift an entire human collective. And if you think that name calling, bullying, criticizing, tearing someone down, calling them names, I think I already said that, um, all the other things that you and so many others are experiencing, if that's the way you're going to shift an entire human collective, it's never going to happen. When you're holding higher states of consciousness, you're not doing those behaviors. Those behaviors don't make sense. Even if someone doesn't like you, even if somebody is calling you names, even if somebody is belittling you and throwing you under the bus, it doesn't make sense in your consciousness to react and respond in that same frequency in order to perpetuate it. And this coming after you, coming after me, coming after whoever, these, these consciousnesses that are going to keep coming, it's going to get louder and louder and louder. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the humans that are doing these behaviors, they're unable right now to look within and say, where am I hurt? Where is my trauma? Where am I in pain? What is this saying about me? If Lori triggers me, what is that saying about me right now? Because it all comes back to us always. It's always about us. Meaning the way I respond, react and behave has everything to do with me and nothing to do with the other person. When people belittle me, name, call me, call me out, put up posts, you know, do a whole, whatever they're going to do about me. The last thing I'm going to do is rebuttal or go after them or call them names. That doesn't make sense to me. That, that behavior doesn't make sense to me. There are many people that I don't agree with, but I don't go after them. I don't belittle them. I don't name call them. So the reason I'm bringing this up is this is going to get louder and we have to start to recognize that this is actually all about shifting an entire human collective and being, having behaviors that are reflective of our states of consciousness. What states of consciousness are you choosing? What states of consciousness are you, are you choosing to put yourself in? And then why does it feel good when someone triggers with you with, with information or truths that are theirs and not yours, how are you responding? Are you responding from a state of awareness of, okay, I'm here to shift an entire human collective. 
Is my behavior going to reflect that? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's not always reflective in me, but I'm always aware. I'm always observing. The light's going away. I'm always observing my behavior, how I am responding. I'm always feeling what it feels like. Always. So pay attention. It's going to get loud in this spiritual community. It's going to get loud in a lot of communities, scientific community, the political community, right? All kinds of communities. It's going to get louder and louder, that divide and people being, people being, people are going to get, um, kind of, uh, they're, they're going to, people are going to go after people. They're going to go after you. They're going to go after people. It's just the rattling of their consciousness. It's the awakening process and it's not always fun and it's not always easy. But can we do our best to pay attention to our behaviors? We're only responsible for us. We're only responsible for how we react and respond and behave. We're not responsible for anyone else. And the way we shift ourselves into heaven on earth, which is where we're going, the way we move to heaven on earth is to pay attention to the ways we are being and the states of consciousness we are being in every now moment. You can't, energy and consciousness doesn't lie. Doesn't lie, meaning you will know what someone's behavior, what state of consciousness someone's behavior is based on by how it feels. So thank you for being here with me. I love you so much and um, we got this. Let the divide get louder because it only allows us to unify. We only can unify when we see that which we have been in, right? And we change our behaviors and we choose higher states of consciousness, unity, compassion, love. Just to try those things as much as you can in your now moments. Unity, compassion, and love. Unity means I allow everyone to have their truth. My truth doesn't mean to be anyone else's truth. You can have your opinion. I can have my opinion. Someone messaged me the other day, last night, beautiful woman. I forgot her name. And she says, Hey, I just want to let you know that I, I called you a, a name. I was really mean to you on your post. And I, I'm, I'm sorry that I did that. And I took the post down. I was like, Oh my God, I love you so much. Thank you for even having the courage to tell me. I encourage all truths and beliefs that aren't like mine. I encourage it but not from a belittling, name-calling, rude way, not from a lower state of consciousness. You can share your opinions with others. You can share your truths with others, even if it's not theirs, from a state of compassion, empathy, and love. And that is what we are learning. Practice. I love you. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Be gentle with yourself and be gentle with the entire human collective.